Greetings, everyone. Hey, I want to share something exciting with you today. I'm going to call this Everything Ohio because you know I'm from Ohio originally. I spent 51 years there, and I love that state. You know, you can take the girl out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the girl. She is still a big part of Ohio. And over the years, the Lord has shown me many things concerning Ohio. And I believe right now that Ohio is on the brink of a tremendous breakthrough. You can call it revival if you want, but there is a great awakening taking place in that great state of Ohio, the Buckeye State. Now, um, I will say that this weekend, <clears throat> I will be in Ohio. This is really exciting to me because um, I'm going to a little bitty town. It's actually an uh, unincorporated village, and it's at the very northwest corner of the state. So it borders on Indiana and Michigan. And listen to this. You know, Indiana is the Hoosier state, and... That is an Indian, Hoosier is an Indian name for the word corn. Does corn make you think of harvest? In Michigan, you know, they're known as the Michigan Wolverines. However, one of their state names is the Mitten State. And it's also Winter Wonderland. But years ago, I think it was maybe 2008, the Lord showed me the, he said Michigan was the handwritten mitten of God. And he had, it's like, it's his hand. It's his shape, Michigan is shaped like a mitten and he has great purpose for Michigan. And of course, then the Buckeye state, you know, you think of the Buckeyes being that little nut, you know, especially Christmas time, we like to eat those little candies that are, we call them Buckeyes, they have chocolate with peanut butter inside. But, you know, the nut, that uh, buckeye nut is the shape and the color of a deer's eye. And you know, there's many places in scripture that the Lord refers to the deer, you know, how the deer pants by the water. And um, the voice, Psalms 29, nine says that the voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth. And I feel there's a great birthing taking place right now. Um, let me say a little bit about the conference. It's going to be in Holiday City, and it's right off of the Turnpike on Route 15. And I believe route, uh, that number 15 also refers to Psalms 19. And I'm not going to read all of it. I say 19, I mean 15. But, um, Lord, who may abide in your tabernacle? Who will dwell in your holy hill? Who walks uprightly and works uh, righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart? They do not backbite. Uh, their eyes are not on the vile person, but they honor um, those who fear the Lord. And there's more to that scripture, but it's really, you know, it's kind of like Psalms 24. You know, who ascends the hill of the Lord? Those with clean hands and a pure heart. But I feel there's a real outpouring taking place there and God is using a small you know he's into these small things just like Gideon you know he didn't have a, a big army he could have had a big army but God used the 300 just a small number now listen to this also I came across um, an old prophecy Bob had from 2008 this was New Year's Eve of 2008 the Lord said to him there is a third wave coming the first wave was um Toronto, the second was Pensacola, and the third one was the winds of change. And he said it would be a global movement, but it would be in um, Canada and the Northwest. He said revival will come as a Northwest wind. So set up your sails for the winds of change are blowing. And then he gave Bob 12 cities where these winds of change were going to take place. But now pay attention to this. Des Moines, Iowa, Omaha and Lincoln, Nebraska, Kansas City, Missouri, Denver, Colorado, Nashville, Tennessee, Lakeland, Florida. Now he said, Ohio, the whole state of Ohio, Charlotte, North Carolina, Albany, Oregon, 
Washington State, and Redding, California. And then he also said to uh, pay attention to England, Australia, and New Zealand. So this is what he said was coming. It would be a, a healing movement and an outpouring of God's glory. Uh, you know, we've talked over the years about the prophecy Bob had about Gulliver. Because he was, it was, it's funny, I didn't know Bob at that time, but it was on my, my mother's birthday, July 15th of 05. Bob was in Ohio and he had this awesome uh, revelation about Gulliver. You know, Gulliver, the giant, that, well, he wasn't really a giant, <laughs> but he was a giant to the people who tied him down, the Lilliputians. But he had that prophecy about Gulliver and the head being in Cleveland, Ohio, and the heart in Columbus, and the reproduction or organs in uh, um, Cincinnati. And then there were other states, Indiana, you know, his hands were tied down in Indiana and Philadelphia and his feet in um, Charlotte and Nashville, but he put his feet together in Atlanta and stood up. And there's prophecy around each one of those states. Now, back in 2016, the Lord sent me and my son to Ohio to wake up Ohio for the election, which we did. Now, what was interesting in that, our first day there, we were at the Ohio River and the Lord sent me from there. He said to go to Lake Erie and there release the angels that are holding back the anointing of his church. And we did that. We went, we put our foot in Lake Erie and we were over at the northeast corner of the state and prophesying to the northwest. That was, and it just really came together today when I was thinking about this. That's where we were, the direction we were were facing. So those winds of change have come. The angels have been released. It is time for Ohio to be fully awakened. One thing that I made note of here too, when Bob pro the prophecy in 2005, he said that the church had been asleep at that point for 38 years. So that would have been 1967. And it would have been at the time of the Six Day War, Israel and the Arab nations. So that would have, that was June of 2000, or excuse me, 1967. So now it is 17 years past that time, which makes it 55 years. And I believe that five, five is great grace that there is time now for that. And it's also Isaiah 55. So there's a time and of an awakening and the, the, um, church I will be at is called Revival Hub in Holiday City, Ohio. And the name of the conference is called The Awakening. How about that? So uh, the pastor Pena, Bobby Pena from San Antonio will be there. His nephew, uh, Brandon Pena. And of course, Alan and Pete Garza. This is their church and I'll be there. So if you'd like to be a part of what God is doing, I feel this is a very uh, important and transformational time in the body of Christ, and you get to be a part of it. You know, God is going to like the four corners of the earth and insignificant, what we would look as being insignificant, you know, a little bitty place. It doesn't even kind of register on the map, but you know, it's a turnpike, it's right off the turnpike, 80, 90 turnpike. It's right there. So God has ordained this time and this place for this occurrence. So if you'd like to be a part of that, uh, you can register online at revivalhubohio.com. That's Ohio Hub Revival, oh, revivalhubohio.com. And uh, it's October 28th, 29th, and 30th. And uh, I think there's $50 registration fee. But anyhow, we would love for you to be there. I'm excited to see what God is going to do. When I had my um, Daughters of the Dawn conference, Brandon Pena was there and gave some outstanding prophetic words and uh, future insight to what God is doing. 
he sees in a realm that most of us don't see. And, you know, he's like Bob Jones on steroids. Okay, so you need to come. So we hope to see you there. And we just pray that you be blessed until next time.